are now listening to The Mindset Session. Hello and welcome to the Mindset Sessions. My name is Benjamin. I'm a DJ producer and I go by the name of Kid Massive. So on today's podcast episode, I'm going to be talking about how to focus on the positives, why it's important to focus on the positives and some of the steps that we can do to reshift if our minds have been drifting off and we're feeling a bit more negative and we can't quite see anything positive in what's going on around us. So I'm just going to kick things off and uh, jump straight in. Focusing on the positive is a huge benefit to all aspects of our lives, whether it's personal, whether it's spiritual, whether it's financial, family, work, creative, it doesn't matter. It's that Having a an overview and looking to something positive just provides us with so much more drive and so much more passion and so much more energy. It kind of charges us up. It, it revitalizes us. It recharges the batteries. It gives us more determination and strength and uh, passion to move forward. Focusing on the good things, focusing on the things that make us happy, the things that make us smile. They don't have to be big things. And this is where a lot of people, you know, they they only think about the big things. It's like, oh, the weather, my finances, my husband, my wife, my job. But we also have to remember life also consists of many, many small things as well. It's that cup of coffee. It's the fact that you are able to sleep in for an additional 15 minutes. It's that cool, cold shower after a long walk uh, walk or a workout. It's discovering that new song that you didn't know was your new favorite song. It's all these small things that together and combined can make one big positive experience. Yes, of course, focus on, you know, your job and your family and your health, etc. But also try and think about the small things. Try and think about, you know, oh, this person smiled at me today. That made me feel really good. Or I had a really pleasant experience on the bus today or on the train or I had a really nice lunch or somebody sent me a really nice email or gave me a compliment. These small things tend to go on unnoticed by so many people. And that's such a shame. Because it's the small things that make the big things. And it's, it's learning to, to see them for what they are. Don't brush them aside as if they're something oh, blasé and they're a bit negative and they're a bit whatever. Because every time that something doesn't quite go the way that we want, we start to shift our focus and things you know, take a negative, grey, dark, Uh, outlook and we feel demotivated and we feel flat and we feel low on energy and oh everything is just so hard and it's a drag and it's difficult and oh why is it doing this and why is it raining and why hasn't he replied and blah 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 and why didn't I get this job etc 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 what we need to look at is when things go wrong or rather when things don't go the way that we want them to go Big difference because there is no right or wrong. There is simply just how I expect things to go. Either they go my way or they don't. If they go my way, then it's right. If it doesn't go my way, well, then it's wrong. But ultimately, there is no right or wrong. It's simply our perspective. So if you can focus on something that goes wrong, that means that your perspective, your focus is on the negative. Well, why not try and shift that focus? Why not try and shift that perspective into something new, into something more beneficial? So if something doesn't go the way that you want, something doesn't quite map out the way that you planned it to, 
that job interview, you didn't get it or whatever it is that you're doing didn't work out. Look at it as an opportunity to learn from it. Don't see it as a negative, as a stumbling block, as something that inhibits you from growing. Look at it as something that will allow you to learn and move forward. Because without failure, without things not going our way, without things going wrong, how will we know when things are right? How will we know when things are, you know, they're good, they're positive? You need one to have the other. You need hot to have cold. You need up to have down. You need to have in to have out. You need to have failure to have success. But viewing failure as something negative means that you're focusing on a an emotion that holds you back. If something doesn't go right, just simply say, okay, that's a shame. However, I can learn from this. Let me see what the takeaway is from this and how can I shift my perspective and move forward? Learning to identify negative self-talk. When we are putting ourselves down, when we are saying to ourselves, oh, I'm not quite good enough, I'm not quite confident enough, you are focusing on everything that you feel that you lack, everything that you feel that you are not good enough at. Everybody lacks something. Nobody's perfect. However, if you focus on the things that you actually enjoy, if you focus on the things that you actually are good at, because everybody's good at something, It might not be the same thing as you, but they're good at something. Some people are good at horse riding. Some people are good at DJing. Some people are good at maths. Some people are good at science or washing windows. I don't know. It can be anything. So don't spend too much time focusing on what you're bad at. Focus on what you're good at and let that help and be a guide to move forward by focusing on the things that you enjoy, on the things that you actually like doing. Because if I just focus on the things that I'm not good at, well, my life would be not very exciting. It would be pretty gray and pretty boring because there are plenty of things that I am not very good at. But there are also things that I am good at, and that is where I choose to look. I follow my strengths I acknowledge my weaknesses and I know this is a weak point and I accept it's a weak point. So I don't dwell on it for longer than I need to. I simply just shift my focus from this, which is negative, which is bad, which is you know technically not something that is very beneficial. And I shift my focus to something that I enjoy, to something I am good at. I shift it to the present, to here and now. I don't dwell in the past. I don't live in the past. I don't live in the future. I don't live thinking, what if? I don't focus on things that haven't happened or things that have happened. I focus on things that are happening. And by doing that, you get to see what's actually around you. Because human beings can only really focus on one thing at a time. It doesn't matter what people say to you. You're only really capable of doing one thing at a time. So looking backwards and constantly thinking about the past and wishing it was like this and it was like that, well, it means that you are not spending enough time focusing on right here, right now, because you are living here and now. The past is dead. It's gone. It's a memory. Thinking about the future, spending too much time in the future is also not particularly a good idea, simply because the future hasn't happened. So we start projecting all these negative emotions. We start thinking about, oh, but what if this happens, but this might happen and et cetera, et cetera. So you are now focusing on the negative. So bring that back and bring it to the present. Bring it to today. Bring it to the things you enjoy, to the things that you like, the things that you are strong in. Try your hand at new things. We all need to learn. We all need to grow. We all need to experience new things on a daily basis. We need to put ourselves out of our comfort zone. We need to feel a bit awkward. 
sometimes we just need to do something new. It doesn't mean that it's going to be our thing forever. It just means we are opening up our minds to the possibility that we can learn something new. And it's that possibility that opens up endless amounts of growth. Because if you say no, well, that means you've shut down for everything. If you say yes, that means you have endless, countless possibilities. You can go anywhere with a yes. There is literally nowhere and nothing you cannot do if you say yes. Yes is a positive word. Straight up, very simple, yes is positive. Why? Because it it means that, okay, let's do it, let's go. It means you are not standing still. No means black, gray, heavy. No, I will not do this, this is not for me. And a no is good in certain circumstances, but in the context of focusing on the positive, a no is the same as focusing on your negative emotions, focusing on the negative thoughts. So allowing yourself to say yes to something, going out there and finding inspiration, going out into the world and opening up your eyes, your ears, your heart, and trying to see things from a different perspective, trying to understand that, well, maybe I don't know everything after all. What else can I learn? You are now opening yourself up to a possible positive experience. And with everything happening in the world right now, and with everything that's going to happen in the, you know, the near future, right now is paramount that we start focusing on the positives. Focus on what you have, not what you don't have. Don't focus on what is missing. Focus on the things that you actually have right now. Appreciate them. It doesn't matter if they're big or small. If you have it and it makes you smile, then then celebrate it, enjoy it, have fun with it. Because the more you practice, the more you train, the more you set your sights on positive experiences, the more your daily life will become easier. Because no means no. It's basically you are not allowing growth. It's a bit like you are holding a muscle really, really, really tight and you refuse to let go. Eventually, you will hurt yourself. But by saying yes, you release the muscle, you release the tension, and then everything can flow smoothly. Everything can just move forward the way that it's supposed to be. Granted, we will have bad days. They exist. This is life. Sometimes things go up, sometimes things go down. That's just how it is. That's just life. But I'm not saying, you know, bury your head in the sand and only be positive. I'm just saying maybe try and focus on the things that actually give you joy. Acknowledge the things that make you sad. Acknowledge the things that put you down. But don't dwell on them longer than you actually need to. Because there is a difference between pain and suffering. Pain is if somebody punches you in the arm that's a short-term pain. It hurts for 30 seconds, for one minute, and then that pain disappears. Pain is natural. Suffering is when somebody punches you in the arm and you keep holding on to that. The pain, the physical pain, has actually long since disappeared, but you are now holding on to your suffering. You are now holding on so tightly to this pain that all you see is suffering and oh and this hurts and why did you do this and why doesn't why don't you love me and blah 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 so you're dragging something out much longer than it needs to but by simply shifting your focus and going okay that was painful for a short period of time it's okay it's over it's done let's just move forward let's shift our focus let's plan ahead let's move forward Because planning is huge. To understand where you want to go will help you along the journey and it will allow the process of moving forward to be a lot more smooth 
because you know where you're going. If you want to go from A to B, you know that B is your destination. So you are prepared. You can focus on the things that you need to do to be able to get there. There is a sense of comfort knowing where you're going. There is a sense of focusing on the positives within the journey that you're taking. If you don't know where you're going, you become confused, you become lost, you become anxious, maybe you become a bit distraught, you become angry, and now all of a sudden, you are now filled with a negative emotion, and that is when your focus will shift to something negative. So maybe ask yourself, where are you going? What would you like to do? Then ask yourself, I want to go to here. How do I do this? Use it as a roadmap to understand it. Because once you have a roadmap, you can relax. You can enjoy the journey. But if you don't know where you're going, all you're going to do is focusing on, oh, I'm going to get lost. And what happens if I go here? And what happens if I go there? And et cetera, et cetera. So focusing on the positives in any journey will make the journey so much more beneficial in the long run. So um, so that's kind of my, my thought on focusing on the positive. So I'm just going to do a bit of a recap. So focusing on the good things, however big or small, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that you are shifting from one viewpoint to another. You're focusing on something that actually makes you feel good as opposed to something that pulls you down. Turning failure into positive lessons turning failure into success, learning from everything that happens to you and learning to identify negative self-talk when you start to put yourself down. Ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I, you know, why am I allowing this to pull me down? And live in the moment, live today, live in the present. The past is done. The future hasn't happened. The only thing that's actually in your experience right now is today and try and find positive inspiration around you it can be anything anything that makes you smile it could be a museum it could be a baby it could be being outside in nature it could be listening to your favorite artist it could be literally anything but find something that can give you a sense of positivity in your daily life and finally as i just mentioned planning the road forward understand where you're going understand what you would like to achieve and mapping it out because the more you map out the more you plan the journey ahead the more comfortable and relaxed you will become which in turn means that you don't stress yourself out as much so um yeah but anyway don't forget you can follow me on my socials simply the mindset sessions on instagram youtube these podcasts are available across all platforms and uh, yeah thank you so much for tuning in and i hope to catch you on the next one Mindset Session.